Bring your own device to Appalachian Wireless and get up to $300 in bill credits. If you're looking to switch to the Big Blue Appalachian Wireless Network, there's no better time than right now to bring in your device. Because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. On the morning of January 25th, a man fled a traffic stop and jumped in the Big Sandy River to evade capture. The suspect left their vehicle to run to the riverbank behind Long John Silver's in Pikeville and plunged into the river where the currents had carried him. Soon after, he was found dead in the water. So, the Clark State Police is conducting a death investigation uh, after a, um, a deceased uh, subject was located uh, in the river there off US-23 in the Pikeville area. Uh, just before 11 o'clock this morning, a trooper from Post 9 had conducted a traffic stop. At uh, which point, during the course of the, the traffic stop, one of the occupants of the vehicle fled the vehicle uh, running towards the river. Um, a trooper was, was seeing the subject uh, enter the water, uh, but then lost sight of him. Local first responders were contacted, such as fire departments and rescue squads, and they began to attempt to locate the subject, and they were able to, to locate him. Uh, he was deceased. Uh, we will update when we have more information. Kentucky State Police, Pikeville PD, Pikeville Fire Rescue, and Emergency Management were on the scene to investigate. Underwater drones were used to help determine where the currents might have carried the suspect. Pikeville Fire Department utilized their swift water team to find the body. Pikeville FD was called to the scene to assist. We uh, immediately dispatched out our swift water team, and uh, of course every, everyone on shift uh, ended up responding as well, but immediately the shift supervisor uh, called for the swift water team to be activated. So we have three water units. Um, one of those were the air boat, a Zodiac boat, and a John boat. They were all three utilized. From what I understand that um, the body was actually found behind the area of where Long John Silver's is on the south end. And what happened was as soon as we realized that the body was going to be, a re that the call was more, gonna, more or less going to be a recovery, more so than a rescue, they went ahead and started dragging the river for the body. And again, that's, that's ultimately where rescue crews found the body at was in that location. The shift supervisor on scene made the call to um, go ahead and call for the mutual aid departments and the agreements that we have in place to make that happen as well as our swift water team that we have trained up. They uh, There was 10 of those members on scene along with our normal shift staff. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.